Hey there, Chuck Wagon RV here. I'm at a new campground, new campsite. Um, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. It's about 70 degrees. Um, thought I'd show you Chuck Wagon where he's at again. I am about eight miles from Yellowstone in a campground that I can leave the trailer at. Should be safe, everybody else does it. And then I can end up in uh, Yellowstone in about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna spend about two or three days in Yellowstone. And then we'll decide where Chuck Wagon's going next. But I just wanna show you. This is my, I guess it'd be my front yard. It's a little, uh, it's going to rain. This is a heck of a big clearing, and I don't know why, but. I don't know if you can hear it, but listen to the, the water running down this mountain. Crystal clear. Running up the other side. Beautiful. There's a uh, truck wagon. <laughs> Look where I'm at. I'm suffering. All the comforts at home, zero dollars. Firewood all over the place. Trees are laid down all over the place. People are cutting them up, getting firewood. But I'm, I'm not real big into fires. Uh, so I probably will not have a fire. But here's the campsite. I got number one campsite. I'm in a national forest. There are bears here. No vehicles <laughs> going past this sign. That's all that means. But look at This is Chuck Wagon. Doing just wonderful. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see the elevation of the trailer is oh a good six inches higher. It's so much higher I'd get me a pallet to step on to get in and out. It's a little tough. I can't reach anything on the roof again. Of course the bike laying on the ground. And the bike rack laying on the ground. Chuck Wagon's doing good though. How you doing tonight? <laughs> BLM. He stopped. I don't think he's got any problems. You're supposed to be 30 feet from the... Well, let me see what it says. Rules and regulations. Uh, campsite must be occupied nightly. You have to go uh, bury your uh, waist eight inches deep and 30 feet from the water. But uh, I'm not going to light a fire anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. The fire pit's there, but uh, the back of the truck looks like it exploded. I got to get this thing uh, <clears throat> lighter, considering I, I've lightened this thing down a lot. Oh. But I stopped at a scale, and the guy was real nice at the scale, Montana scale. I'm right at the Mon Montana-Idaho line, which is the uh, line for Yellowstone. Uh. But I scaled the front axle of the pickup truck it was 2,420 uh, pounds. The uh, rear axle was 3,340. The trailer axle, 1,880. And the tongue is 200 pounds. So we are looking at uh, 2,080 pounds on a 3,500 pound trailer. 
that's what it's designed to carry is uh, 3,500 pounds. Um, I think we're doing pretty good. Um, it is, uh, I don't know. I have the uh, printout from, uh, let's see if I can find it, from uh, Catscale. So from, from then till today, I am, uh, I don't know how I did that. Could be the difference in the scale houses. All these scale houses are different, but uh, I went from 2320 to 2420, 100 pounds more in the, uh, on the front axle. But I'm storing my water on the floorboard of the passenger seat. Here comes the rain. Um, the trailer was, or the rear axle was 2780. And on this scale, it was 3340. So you're looking at 600, 560 pounds more weight on the rear axle. Um, the trailer axle was 80 pounds lighter when I left home. So uh, the grand total was 6,900 pounds, and this one were probably 6,160, yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, we're about 7,200 pounds now. So uh, we've gained some weight. Of course, that could be 17 gallons of fuel, but I want to save all this information. And uh, we'll put it all back away. But I think I need to go inside and get out of this weather because I believe we're going to get wet. <laughs> but I just want to show you where I'm at, tell you where I'm at. Um, I think uh, Yellowstone in the morning uh, looks like a good day to go to Yellowstone. Um, probably going to spend about two or three days. I can stay uh, 16 days here. So over the next 16 days, I can get two or three days in over at uh, Glacier, or over at, I'm sorry, Yellowstone. Um, gentleman parked close to me here um, was over in Yellowstone. He's been there two days, and he thinks it's going to take four to get through Yellowstone. Yellowstone is one of the bigger ones. Glacier took a whole day, um, and I could have got a second day, but... Uh, Every night, every night it's going to rain, but um, BLM is in here. We'll see if he's got anything to say. But uh, they watch this place. It says right online that they watch this place. But there's a really nice dirt trail um, that uh, the old Nissan might need to go. <laughs> go get in trouble. But I feel safe that the uh, trailer can sit here and uh, be just fine. Um, and I'll get a day in at Glacier. Sounds like a pretty good, pretty good plan. But anyways, take care. Just thought I'd let you know what's going on. And uh, we'll talk soon.